Chico Housing Action Team is making progress on its Tiny Homes for the Homeless project. Action News Now reporter Tori Apodaca shows us who decides who moves in and how. Butte County Behavioral Health Services will be making referrals as to who gets to move in to the tiny homes. The people behavioral health taps for a tiny home will either be one of its clients or a potential client. Its main goal, breaking down all barriers, physical or social, facing the homeless or mentally ill. This individual would have access to crisis services, outpatient clinics, substance use disorder services, um, just the whole continuum of care being right there at their front door. They're calling the project REST at Everhart Village, standing for Resiliency Empowerment Support Team. The REST staff will provide field-based outreach and engagement in the community and diverse treatment services. I think mental health is a main a contributor to homelessness and that they need those services and they <clears throat> deserve a decent space of their own to live. They will be submitting a proposal to the state to get funded through the Mental Health Services Act later this fall. Reporting in Chico, Tori Apodaca, Action News Now, coverage you can count on. Even if they do not get the funding, Behavioral Health says they are still dedicated to providing on-site services at Everhart Village.